Jags are now 0-2 for the season. In case you missed the loss yesterday, they got trampled by the Broncos in the team's home opener. While there were a few <laughs> bright spots, we're all hoping for more sooner than later, please, right? So News for Jacks as sports editor Justin Barney is joining us now via Zoom for our Monday morning quarterback segment. Good morning, Justin. Thanks for being with us. So, so Justin, let's start on the bright side, shall we, this morning? Trevor Lawrence, he started out strong. First drive and have that for the rest of the game, that's all you needed to see. He looked phenomenal on that opening drive of the game. That's kind of what you wanted to see. That's kind of what we saw in that final Dallas preseason game, which gave fans so much hope going into the regular season and just not been able to build off that. And yesterday I thought was a fantastic drive. And you thought if they could bottle that and continue that throughout the game, it was going to be a great Sunday for fans in the home opener. And it just was not that. After that opening drive, everything went, uh, just spiraled from there. The defense played well enough to win the game, but the offense, you know, that's kind of what Urban Meyer's calling card is. The offense, he hangs his hat on a great offense and being a, um, a breakthrough offensive mind, and it's just not showcased itself through two weeks in the NFL. Trevor Lawrence has got to play better, but he's a rookie. You're expecting these kind of games from him, and um, he, as long as he mixes those flashes of brilliance in, with those bad games, that's what you want to see in the growth of the quarterback. But we got a little bit excited after that first drive yesterday, thinking that was going to happen throughout the game, and it certainly did not. Well, because it's interesting, you know, as we know, Trevor Lawrence had three interceptions last game, then, of course, two yesterday. I mean, is this a trend developing? Is there worry about that? Or is it, as you pointed out, and as we all know, he's a rookie QB, and maybe he's just forcing it to try to turn things around? case and you look at great quarterbacks Peyton Manning had a terrible rookie season Colts were three and 13 he threw uh, close to 30 interceptions his first season in the league and became a Hall of Famer so not saying that's going to happen with Trevor but you expect these uh, these patterns with rookie quarterbacks it's not as quick as um, it's not as uh, it's not as easy as it was in college for these players and Trevor seeing that there's NFL cornerbacks and defenders close a lot quicker they're a lot better and um, Trevor's learning that. So he's going to be, I think he's going to be fine. We've seen this with other uh, very good quarterbacks and early on in their careers. And um, I think we're going to see this. We're going to continue to see this with Trevor's, um, his growing pains. Remember last year we talked to, to Mark Rennell and he said, people who think Trevor's going to come out in, in Jacksonville and do the same things that he did in college are sadly mistaken. He's going to have those ups and downs. He's going to have those games where he throws three or four interceptions um, until he works those kinks out. So I think we're getting that, a little bit of that learning curve right now. He's only two games into his NFL career. He is going to be an excellent quarterback, but certainly games like we saw yesterday are in his uh, in his future. So the two missed field goals, we cannot forget that, right? I think everyone in my entire family, including myself, was jumping up and down screaming at the TV when this happened. What happened with Josh Lambeau? The same quarterback since he uh, he came back from injury reserve last year. You know, his first uh, his first attempt uh, was terrible, went wide right. The second one was missed a little bit left. You know, and Josh, to his credit, he had 42 straight field goals at home coming into this game yesterday. So uh, a reason for concern, of course, I think um, yeah, I think early on in camp, the Jaguars saw some things in him where they had to bring in some competition and, and say, okay, Josh is not really the same guy at this point. Is this just a, a state he is in right now and he's going to work his way through it? Or is this a – and a more of an alarming pattern. And I think it's becoming more of an alarming pattern. He's 0 for 3 this year on field goals and missing two at home yesterday. Granted, one was a 50 plus yarder. Um, definitely cause for concern. But Coach Urban Meyer says yesterday in the press conference that uh, Josh is a pro. He's in his corner. He's going to support him and uh, hopefully work through these kinks. But yeah, a little bit alarming. He didn't do that well in preseason either. So um, I think it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more of a growing concern now than it was. Uh, that's just a passing kind of uh, phase early on. All right, Justin, thank you for your insight this morning. Hey, Coach Meyer said it after the game. Hang in there, fans. We're going to get better. We certainly hope so, and we're there to back the team, but it is a little frustrating at this point. Thanks, Justin.